Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Single Mom's Life, and my name is Eve, and welcome to my world, y'all. Um, I just recently found out that I have bed bugs. Can y'all believe that? But today, um, I'm pretty much have broke down my bed, and I'm fixing to vacuum, clean up under and everything, because I have to get my house prepped for um, this bed bug treatment. And I will go into detail as far as everything that goes into this treatment. But this is just the start, y'all. And um, and this is what I'm doing right now is I broke my bed down, looking it over, checking it over. Luckily, there's nothing on my bed. It's um, on in other rooms. Um, but... Yeah, so this is what we're doing right now. Um, I'm trying to get this bed area clean because we're prepping to get a bed bug treatment. So stick around and follow me on my journey of getting rid of the bed bugs, y'all. Okay, so we're still prepping for our bed bug extermination. And so I've done my bedroom. Now I'm going to do my kids room so i'm going to go in my little one's room get that room clean get it picked up and everything it looks really messy in there y'all because um there's a lot of toys that i never did pick up or did anything with after christmas so quite a few toys in there that we're gonna have to box up or whatever so um and then after we get the room straight we're gonna vacuum the floor make sure the floor is vacuumed we're gonna come and sweep this hallway out and also we're going to vacuum this other room in here and hold on y'all I'm gonna tell y'all exactly everything that needs to be done okay y'all so <clears throat> this is the prep list that I had got um, and the place that I'm using and this is not a sponsored video or anything it's called West Termite Pest and Lawn um, they're the, the um the company that is going to come into my house and treat my house and the treatment that they're doing that um is the best treatment is the heat treatment and then also once they do the heat treatment then they're going to um spray and then they're going to put all the mattresses in casements um so so they're going to cover the mattresses all the mattresses and everything anyway so some of the things that i have to do is just pretty much just pick up and remove all clutter from floors closet and underneath beds okay um sweep all non-carpeted areas vacuum carpet areas um also when you do the vacuuming you have to um dispose of the bag right then and there put it in the trash that way um if you were to go through and vacuum and if they do or while you're vacuuming and if it does pick up bugs then you need to go and get out your house okay um, the next thing is you need to remove your pets and then also put their bed and food dishes in a safe place. Then you turn off your air conditioning and heating system. Um, personal items that's in your dresser drawers, they have to be removed out of the dressers because um, they want to make sure that they get um, a good heat treatment. Um, also, for heat treatment, um, candles, chocolate, aerosol, cans, alcohol, oil paintings, laptops, medication, all of that stuff has to be taken out, removed, put in a safe place while they're doing the heat treatment that way. Um, the heat won't cause any damage because the heat treatment, they're going to heat this house up to, I know, over 120 degrees. And with higher temps, that is what, that's what, um, that's what um, drives the bed bugs out. And then also extreme heat kills them on contact as well. Which, in my opinion, the heat treatment is a whole lot better than just having somebody come out and spray. And me, I don't want to have any issues with bed bugs or anything. I mean, I, I've seen one. And one was enough for me to spend quite a bit of money to get this done. Because... Um, bed bug treatment is very, very expensive, and it depends on what company 
you go with. But anyway, so um, another thing that you have to do, you have to take out, take off the outlets, which I'm not going to do that, and then switch covers. And that is so whenever they do, um, whenever they do the um, liquid treatment, when they go around spraying, then they spray that around the perimeter of the outlet cover, okay? Um, and another thing, if you have like um, a, like a um, fish tank or something that has to be taken out as well or turned off. Um, and also, they had told me that I'm going to have to be at the house until 6 or 7 o'clock that night. So they're going to come here about 8.45 in the morning. And it's going to take some hours just to get everything treated as far as getting everything heated up. Because they're going to get every single room in here heated up. And then they're going to draw these bed bugs out and kill them now. Um, because even though I've only seen one and then when I had somebody come in and check, they've seen two. But if there's three, oh, you best believe there's a whole lot more than just those three. They're hiding somewhere. I don't know where. I don't know how they got in here. I don't know. Because, like, and you don't get bed, bug, bed bugs from your house being nasty. You don't. Because my house is pretty clean, y'all. You know? Bed bugs come from hotels. It comes from daycares. It can come from... Um, used furniture may have bed bugs or whatever. So different type of things can get on you or can get on like luggages from hotels or whatever. If, you know, hotels have bed bugs and you're bringing them into your home and then they're hatching, they're laying eggs and they're hatching and then they're multiplying. Okay. So, so this is a serious matter because I was attacked a week ago and that's what um prompted me to really look to see if there's anything in my bed and that's where i see one of them creepy crawly things in my freaking bed um because i was you know i didn't think that the which i should have took a picture now but i had some um bumps over here on my arm i still got one of them. But, okay i'm sorry about that my baby's crazy about washing machine, which I'm going to cut this off the video. Anyway, so that's pretty much everything that um, is going to have to be done. Um, so it takes about four hours, and then the chemicals they're going to put down. So they want you at the house for an extended period of time before you can um, come back in the house and everything. And also, they said, um, as far as, like, your bedding, um, wash your bedding, hot water, dry it in um, your highest setting in your dryer because that heat from your dryer is what kills bed bugs, y'all, okay? So just a, just a tip that if you have bed bugs in your house or whatever, and if you get treatments or anything like that, make sure you wash all of your stuff, your clothes, you know, whatever, put it in the dryer and put it on the highest setting and that is what will take care of your bed bugs. But anyway, so let's get started, y'all. Okay, so y'all heard me talk long enough, so we're fixing to go in here, start cleaning. It's pretty, and it's probably going to be pretty, it's probably, this video is probably going to be a pretty long video, but I'm just trying to give y'all all the information when it comes to the nasty blood suckers that come out in the middle of the night while you're sleeping and just feed off of you. Yeah, I'm trying to give that information information on those things. And also, what the exterminator told me as well, is that these things, once they feed off of you, they can live off of that supply for months. You may not see them again for three or four months because like, once they feed and get full, they live off of that for a very, very long time. So, just take note of that, y'all, okay? But anyway, let's get this house clean, and we get it prepped for our bed bug extermination. Let's get started.
So I've came into my baby's room and I'm pretty much um, picking up all of his toys, boxing it up, uh, making sure everything is up off the floor, making sure I vacuum the floor. That way when they come in to do their treatment, they don't have a bunch of toys that's in their way. So we're getting, we're getting everything picked up and moved out the way. finished vacuuming my baby's room so now I'm just getting everything straightened back up straightening his toys up straightening his bed up I'm um, just getting everything out the way that way when they come in um, there won't be a whole lot of stuff on the floor so I have moved into the hallway and I'm sweeping the hallway out I did vacuum my other son's room I did not record that but it did get vacuumed I've moved into my guest bathroom and now I am just sweeping that bathroom out um, and after I get done with that then I'm going to move into the bedroom y'all and that's where all the work is at. Okay so I've moved into my bedroom and now I am just taking everything out of my dresser drawers as I requested so they can get a good treatment in the dresser. So now I'm in my bathroom and I'm pretty much packing up everything that's in there that could be flammable like hairspray and other different stuff. I have candles that I have to pack away. Um, also I was packing my lotions and sprays up as well from Bath and Body because I wouldn't want that stuff to heat up not knowing what would happen to it. So I'm getting everything out of there y'all. So now we're pretty much um, winding up as far as with the cleaning. So now I'm just vacuuming my floor and then I'm going to um, sweep out the bathroom as well. And once I get all of that done, y'all, um, I'm going to have to find a place for all the stuff that I packed up. And a lot of that stuff I just put in my garage. Um, some of it I put in my in my trunk, the stuff that I was going to wash or whatever. But yeah, so this was a lot of cleaning over the course of three long days. But I got through it and I'm sharing this journey with y'all, you know, just how to um, prepare for a bed bug treatment. Okay, so I'm tired y'all. I'm sweating. I've done a lot over the course of three days. Um, I started this last week. Last Thursday, um, I cleaned under my bed 
and then on Tuesday and Wednesday, then I cleaned my son's room, my, both my kids' room, the hallway, and then our guest bathroom. Also, I did the kitchen on Tuesday, and then today, which is Wednesday, um, I'm doing, I did the living room, which I didn't record that, or the kitchen, but I did the living room, I'm doing my room and the bathroom, um, which making sure the floors is clean, picked up, um, stuff that can melt, um, put all that stuff up because I mean, they're going to have my house heated up to over 120 degrees. That's hot dog. Okay. So the stuff that I got here, um, the stuff I pulled out my drawers, I'm going to put this probably in my garage, put this in the garage out the house. Um, and then also in the morning, I'm going to take my bed and all my bed and off of my bed and just have it bare that way whenever they do the treatment, you know, none of my covers or anything is going to be on the bed. I'm taking it all off and I'm going to take all of this stuff to the laundry mat <laughs> because um, in order to get it done quickly, um, I'm just going to put all this stuff in, in, the, in the laundry mat and the industrial washer in the dryer. That way it won't take that long um, to get all this stuff washed and dried. I'm going to do that tomorrow. But that's all for now, y'all. Like I said, I'm hot. And now I have to go and find a place for this stuff. Yeah. So. But I'll be back Thursday. And um, let y'all see what things is looking like after a bug bed treatment. Okay, so I've made it home after my bed bug treatment. Um, I couldn't get back into the house until after 6.30. They came to the house about 8.30. So this has been an all day process. And well, when I got off from work at four, I had took all of my bedding um, to the laundromat. That way I could go ahead and get all that stuff washed up. So I'm gonna take y'all inside and we're gonna see what things is looking like after a bug, a bed bug treatment. So, let's go. Oh darn it! I was fixing to say we're going inside, but I have to unlock the door, y'all. Make sure they locked everything. Bed bug treatment, y'all. What is my house looking like afterwards? Okay. Now they said that things would be a little sticky. The floors may be a little sticky or whatever. But um, I left my house very clean for them, y'all. <laughs> it was very clean. Okay. So. Oh. Going into the living room. Let's turn this light on. Uh, what did they leave me? Okay. It's looking okay. They left the air on, so they made sure they cooled it off in here. Um, I guess they took all these pictures off the wall. Oh crap. Um, no. They took all these pictures off the wall so they wouldn't fall down and break these pictures. They took all those pictures off the wall. Um, okay. Hallway. This bathroom. I don't remember.
remember leaving that, that paper towel out, but somebody else could have left it out. But anyway, all right. So I don't smell anything out the normal. Look at the degrees in here. Why is it taking so long to cool my house off? I don't know. Anyway, let's go into these rooms. This is my baby's room. This is his room. Closet, messy. Yeah. This is my other. Kids room. I have the fan on in here. definitely hot in here y'all for sure um okay so let's check my room out we left the fan on in here too um and they did this is the encasement that they was talking about to help protect your mattress that your mattress goes in. That's what they was talking about. They left the fan on in here. Everything looks good. Pretty much like I left it, y'all. Um, but anyway, um, and my little boy is back and he's jumping all on my bed, y'all. But I think we um it is warm in here, y'all. I had to go I had to check my air to make sure that my air was still running. Because it's warm in here. See what the bathroom's looking like because they close all the doors. Bathroom is looking the same. Everything's pretty much looking the same, y'all. There's nothing that's nothing. I mean, there's no difference. I mean, like, you really can't even tell that they've even been here, um, with the exception of this right here being on my bed, the encasement. But um, everything else. Um, looks fine. They did take some pictures down. Um, and it was a little warm in here in certain areas. But other than that, everything was fine. So this is my video. I thank y'all for watching um, my journey, you could say, with this bed bug treatment. And this is just to inform other people who um, are planning on getting a bed bug treatment or you know are preparing for a bed bug treatment this video is for y'all if y'all want information on preparing for a bed bug treatment but this is my video um please give me a thumb up please leave me a comment please subscribe y'all have a great and wonderful day bye bye